Forza Motorsports lifespan has officially begun. It's only the beginning and we finally have update one. We're gonna cover the whole update in this video. They have actually changed the upgrade system to my surprise. We're gonna talk about the full change log and what we can expect from here. So last week, we got a community update from Forza Motorsport over on Twitter, where they basically explained that it's been a week since the Motorsport release. And in that time, they've been reading our feedback and listening to our concerns. And they are really trying to reiterate that Forza Motorsport has been designed to adapt and change over time. You know, what we've got isn't it. You know, it can change, it can adapt, they can tweak the game systems and features and they can tweak everything to get what the community really wants. And it seems the main thing so far has been the upgrade system that has been one of the main complaints. We can see here that they have been hard at work on the fixes and improvements since the game's release, which some of which will release as early as next week, which is actually this week. So from now, from update one, we're going to get the fixes and stuff like that on a, on a weekly basis, maybe. The first update focuses on quality of life and stability issues, which is interesting because it actually had a bit more than that. It actually had the upgrade system change, which I think is quite huge. So let's talk about the update one itself and everything that was included. Well, they posted it, it's rolling out on Windows, Steam and Series X, and they gave us a bit of a snapshot as to what's included. And we also have the full release notes as well, which I'll show in a minute. So here's the brief snapshot. We can see some of the fixes have been highlighted, general stability improvements as well as this one here, adjusted car part unlock level to increase player upgrade options at lower levels. Most car parts should now be unlocked within a single Builder's Cup series. Now what this means is they have decreased the level that you need to be to unlock certain car parts. So engine swap used to be level 50, now it's halved to level 25. So they haven't changed the upgrade system, they've just tweaked it to allow players to not have to use as much time, I guess, to unlock all the car parts. Now, I'd have a graph that I can show you. Massive thanks to Equinox over on Twitter. I highly suggest following him. He's always bang on with all of his charts and graphics and stuff, and I want to show this one in particular. So make sure you go give him a follow. But as you can see, he's gone through every part and figured out what level you have to be to unlock it. So there's a lot of car parts that are unlocked straight away at level one and then everything else is unlocked between level two and 25, and you can see the little widget in the corner of what level each specific part is. So you will actually unlock everything at level 15, apart from body kits, engine swaps, and drivetrain swaps. Everything else is unlocked. So that's quite interesting. If I remember correctly, it should only take about 50 minutes, even if that, you know, 45 minutes to get to level 15 and you've got everything unlocked. To get to level 20 or 25, you're gonna need a good extra half an hour, 45 minutes on that, but that's all you need to do now. Around an hour, an hour and 10 minutes of driving at most to get every part unlocked. Now, what hasn't changed is the car points. So you still need to level up your car to get car points accumulatively to afford to have multiple upgrades at once. So yes, if you're level 15, you have unlocked pistons and compression, turbos and everything, weight reduction, but you might not have enough car points to apply them all at once. So there might be a little bit more tweaking to come. I feel like some people will still complain about this, but you have access to the upgrades if you really want them at a much lower level now. So it's good to see that they have changed that. Now, if we have a look at the full change log, they've changed quite a lot. Um, I'm gonna go through everything now. So there has been some multiplayer fixes and changes on all platforms. There's four here. If you want to read them, just pause and have a bit of a read through. There has been some progression changes on all platforms. That's basically what I've already mentioned a minute ago. There has been some livery editor changes and fixes on all platforms. Now, I feel like the livery editor has been another big complaint in terms of actual bugs and crashes and issues. They're slowly chipping away at them, as we can see here. We have cars fixes. Now, there's a lot of these. These are mostly like car specific sort of texture issues and alignment issues and random bits like that. That has been uh, changed on all platforms. We have some miscellaneous changes on tracks and accessibility and random bits. You can, again, you can read it all there. And in general, we have stability. So this will be just general crashes. 
um, these are the five that have been fixed. Now, it is certainly not a completely polished game now. There are still a load more fixes that need to come, a load more crashes that need to be fixed, which we'll touch on in a minute. There's also been a few Xbox-specific um, graphics and progression fixes as well. Now that is the full update one for Forza Motorsport. It's not a bad start. We didn't expect that, I didn't expect them to change the upgrade system so quickly. And as we can see in their community post, there are, there are more to come. There are definitely more updates to come and that might mean tweaking things even more. Now the community's response to this has been pretty mixed. A few people are just complaining still about the, the delivery editor and the paint boost still crashing. Now what we should be doing, I know I talk about this a lot in the Horizon world, but it matters a lot in the motorsport world, is using the forums. Now I'm not knocking anybody who uses the Twitter replies, but that is not the place to be complaining about the game. The forums is where that's supposed to be. The general thoughts of discussion forums, one of the main topics, it's on the, it's on the front page twice is the car levels and the car point system you know they have tweaked that now but this is why they're focused on that so much that's because it's one of the highest voted things turn 10 are only going to focus on fixing and changing the things that people report the most now you can actually go to the Futsal motorsport known issues tab over here as you can see and it will tell you what the the known issues are so if you're having an issue with the game if you're having a bug you want to change or anything and it's not been fixed in update one just check to see if it's on the main issues list or known issues if it is you can rest assured it is being worked on you can then go to motorsport troubleshooting and you can um, sort it by top voted and you will see the main issues that people are complaining about full stop which we can presume is what playground turn 10 is going to focus on fixing now this one's got 534 votes game may hang on applying upgrades and does not save career mode progress that's something they're really gonna they're really trying to do because it's got a lot of votes they're gonna focus on the major issues first so get yourself on the forums and make the most of it now we also have the suggestions hub as well so while the troubleshooting hub is for fixing and complaints about bugs and crashes and stuff like that we have the suggestions hub which is where we can suggest changes suggest cars suggest features so if you hit if you're there to complain still about the upgrade system I'd get that on the suggestion tool, as that is a suggestion and not a troubleshoot kind of request. Do you see what I mean? We should absolutely be using the suggestion tool and the troubleshooting hub for Forza Mode Sport. It's so important, just like Horizon 5. Let's do our part and use the troubleshooting and the suggestion tool because that's exactly what it's made for. You're wasting your time if you complain about stuff on Twitter, Instagram, and everything else. So, yeah. Force Mode Sport, first update. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you all later.